Hello again. Want to apologize it has taken me so long to get this radio finished in this series. Um, but um, as you watch uh, some of the prep work I did in the last uh, part of this series, um, not making excuses, but uh, long about the time I was right in the middle of it, I had uh, uh, waiting on the dial to, to come in. Uh, my mom fell and broke her hip um, and uh, just haven't had any good weather to really do any cabinet work as far as refinishing. Uh, last couple of three days, I've, I've caught some uh, low humidity here in East Tennessee uh, in between rains, and so I was able to refinish the cabinet. So, uh, like I say, I apologize, uh, but maybe, it, maybe it'll be worth uh, waiting for. So, uh, this, these videos have been shot over the last several weeks, so there may be a, uh, you may see some differences in it. So, sit back and enjoy, and uh, thanks for watching. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, as you, we left last time, I had uh, stripped the uh, finish off of the uh, cabinet and made some repairs. I also saw a few more places uh, that uh, the glue or the uh, veneer was coming up. And so I just took a little glue and glued that and put a few clamps on. Uh, and uh, did that, so I'll have to, got some little glue left over here, but I can touch that up with a little sandpaper, so I uh, feel like I need to hit this another, uh, let me get a little closer, let me zoom in, you can see right there, uh, I can feel a raised place right there. And this is this is a good transition here, but I'm, I'm going to take some 220 sandpaper and hit this edge right here, and as I can feel it, and clean that up. This inner circle and panel uh, was more of a gold-like finish. Um, you can see it's lighter, and uh, so I bought some uh, some toner, and it escapes me right now <laughs> what color it was. I want to say it was like a golden oak or something. Uh, charter oak. It's called charter oak. But um, I'm gonna hit this mainly to cover up this blemish here. Uh, I'll have to darken the insides here. Uh, they need to be smoothed up a little bit with a little sandpaper. And of course the rim around the, uh, the bottom and around the edge is dark. And of course the dark uh, black stripes. And I believe I'm, I can do that with the uh, with those uh, markers and uh, so I think the first thing and I brought it in the house uh, of course I, looking at this I'm not sure that I'm gonna do anything other than just put some uh, lacquer on it I mean I, I kind of like that lighter tone myself and it'll darken up once you uh, put the uh, put the lacquer. And I'll, I'll probably use a satin or a semi-gloss on that. But uh, the big thing is we're going to have to do some masking uh, to uh, to get these uh, dark covered. Uh, and so we'll mask the inside and do the outside rim first and this and then work our way inward. 
I quickly took that uh, plum black uh, marker and just hit those uh, stripes there. As you can see, I think that's gonna, gonna look really good because I'm still gonna put uh, lacquer over the top of it. So uh, just giving you a quick, quick and, quick and dirty there, just show you what it's gonna be like. Okay, I switched gears on you a little bit. I decided to go ahead and do the uh, Charter Oak first and I masked this off and you may notice that some of it may not be masked completely however this has got to go back dark anyway so I've got to touch it up so I, I'll probably these big gaps right here I'll probably put a little piece of tape in but then I'm gonna to have to do the inside of it dark anyway so it'll cover up the light spot so I kind of reversed on you a little bit. I uh, got to thinking about it and the dark will cover the light a lot better than the light will cover the dark. So uh, let me go spray this and see what it looks like. This is a quick update. I uh, don't have an external mic so the audio may be messed up. But that charter oak turned out too dark. So it uh, took care of the, uh, the blemish there the patch but it's just darker than I wanted it so back to the drawing board on the colors well the time has changed and uh, it's real early in the morning <laughs> internet is down uh, yesterday I was able to uh, get some uh, good weather and was able to uh, do a little cabinet work uh, on the um, Philco 84B and uh, that color turned out halfway decent. I've uh, got to go back and um, put in the dark like that with my pen. Uh, take a little time but internet's down and having some coffee so I just take my time and do the detail work. I've taken a uh, ProMark marker and touched up uh, the black and so I'm ready I caught a about a 53 percent humidity day uh, sun shining so I'm gonna try to shoot the uh, final coat on this thing. It's a little breezy outside but here it is after about three coats of uh, mohawk satin clear lacquer um, remember I'm not trying to get a piano finish I just want a good clean rustic look on it and I'm probably gonna go back with about two maybe three three more maybe We'll see. I'll know when it's ready. Here's the old grill cloth. It almost looks green. It's really, on, on camera it looks green. It's really a gold. I wish I could find something like that. So from Larry, from the hills of Tennessee, thanks for watching.